should have knocked on wood because now I'm gonna die. Good morning. <laughs> we are 13 minutes away from USC. We're going to pick up some extra things from our dorm because I am leaving California in two days. Sad. And it's raining to fit the mood. It's probably a lot more dramatic to me than it is to any of you watching. But trust me, it is painful and emotional. And I will get through it. T minus a few minutes until we're back on campus. Driving around and seeing a lot of places that bring back memories. It's getting a little sad. <laughs> Welcome USC students at the liquor store. Oh. <laughs> There's no protected lefts in LA. So, how do you guys take a left? We are almost on campus, about to say hi to some of our friends that are still living here. <laughs> we just caught up with David. It was really good. I think he really needed to talk to some people. <laughs> we had a lot to rant about. David also left us with a parting gift, a Russian face mask that Robert somehow got from his cousin. He got a Russian face mask from someone, so we have this now for protection apparently, which is very kind. Thank you, David. All right, we are parked. We are gloved. <laughs> Here's Bird Crit. <laughs> so empty and sad. Is the Starbucks even open? Oh, I think it is. I just got a raindrop in my eye. All right, it's raining, so I'm gonna, yeah. We are in the dorm room. They had to throw away all our food, understandably, so it doesn't attract mice and doesn't spoil, but like, <laughs> I had a lot of food. We're gonna get started packing. The room is packed. We got multiple boxes heading out. I feel like it's sadder how many boxes we have and it doesn't even look like we're fully moved out. We are just waiting for some help to bring our boxes down to the car and we will be on our way back to Irvine. Looking forward to it. Two days later. So today is the day, boys and girls. Catherine is leaving California for Missouri. Hold on, this is really pretty, so I'm gonna turn the camera around. Claire and I are driving right now to go get tacos from... It's called the taco stand. The taco so stand. Good. Story time. As you guys already saw, we went up on Thursday to grab some stuff from USC because they were like, oh yeah, we have no idea when you'll be able to come back and get your stuff. And so we packed it all up, made a whole little day trip out of it kind of thing. And then yesterday, we get a message from USC and said, hey, by the way, you guys can start coming back and getting your stuff on April 27th. And I'm like, really, really? We were there yesterday and you guys had no clue. You couldn't have told me that sooner. Like if I had known that, we probably wouldn't have needed to go. I Nonetheless, we already got a bunch of stuff, already like partway moved out, that's fine. You know, kind of sped up the process or whatever. Anyway, we're gonna go get some tacos. It's taco time! These are so good. These Very are excited. One of the best tacos ever. Apparently. Alright, heading back to the house. I just ate paper. Two hours later. I'm all packed. Took a while, didn't feel the need to vlog because it was just very stressful. You guys would not have enjoyed watching that anyway. We are in the car heading to LAX. Claire has coffee <laughs> in a mason jar. Yeah. <laughs> it's sad, I just said bye to Claire's family. Oh, Libby made me a lantern. I don't know how to pack this but we'll find a way. I also have a chocolate bunny in my bag in the back and it's been sliding around a bit. So we're gonna go check on it if I'm humanly able to. Let the climb begin. I really want the chocolate bunny to be okay. He has survived thus far. He's okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. The chocolate bunny is okay. 
I okay. I bruised my butt a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> Everything's okay. <laughs> and seatbelt on. Yay! <laughs> wait, wait, ready? Look, Claire. I'm Mike Wazowski. <laughs> You're 10 minutes out, starting to get in the feels. Oh, you can see your hair's kind of purple. Also, slug bug. <laughs> You're gonna miss it. You will. We're here. The car is unpacked. It's so sad. All my stuff. This is it. <laughs> Goodbye to freshman year roomies. But to be continued because we're to be continued. We're never gonna stop being roommates. I know, Woo! <laughs> like 80 and rockers and like Seriously. we're still roommates <laughs> y'all will see the airport with me but say bye to claire bye, claire. bye. <laughs> So I've been here for a total of 10 minutes. It's already a mess. Checking my bags was fine. One was 49 pounds, one was 49.5. But I left my avocado blanket in Claire's car. So she's driving back because she's a good roommate. And this mask is really, really hot, but safety first. So I'm outside waiting for Claire because she should be pretty close with my blanket. I'm going to thank her profusely. I board in 30 minutes and I still need to get through security and get food, but it should work out. in all shapes and sizes and this one is clear size we got the blanket we are clear i don't know if y'all can hear i don't know what the deal is i know the lighting sucks it's fine my flight is boarding like in a minute but i have to rant about so much i was going through security everything was fine it was great and then they had to check my backpack i think because i left snacks in there and so they had to check my entire backpack and sometimes they just like pull it out and they're just like oh yeah like you shouldn't have left that in there i'm like okay great awesome i'm so sorry but they took everything out of my backpack. Like, and they went through, they checked it. They obviously didn't find anything because I'm an innocent 19 year old girl. However, I had to sit there for like 15 minutes and start like repacking my bag. I didn't make a scene, but the way that I was packing, I was doing it to make sure that they could hear me and they could see my distress and how much of an inconvenience it was to me, even though I wasn't really that big of an inconvenience. It's like I was fine. So I finally got my bag all packed together and then what do I do? I run, act like I'm running late for a flight just so they feel bad if they do have those feelings. Then I know they're doing their job. Like I'll preface that, like they're doing their job. I'm thankful for them. But I was just so annoyed and so I ran, got to my gate. I was so excited to get my smoothie because I was just so hot. I had to strip off my jacket and everything. And I found out everything is closed except for Chick-fil-A but I don't eat chicken. So we walk over there and I'm like, hey, can I have a salad? And they're like, actually, we're only serving one, two, and three, which of course are all chicken. So I just get a medium fry, a water bottle that you guys are leaning against right now. And that will be my dinner for tonight. Hopefully the plane will fly safely because if it goes along with the luck that I've been having for most of today, we will crash and burn. All right, see you all on the flight. So I took some video on the plane because I went through a roller coaster of emotions, but it was very loud. So I'm just going to narrate the experience for you. First thing I noticed is that there were literally only eight people, guys. It was so empty. And because of that, I, of course, used the entire row for my stuff. So my feet actually had room, which was insane. You never get that. Also, my fries at this point were really cold, which was very sad. But the view was so pretty, guys. There's the ocean. There's the city. 11 out of 10 sunset. Highly recommend. Amazing. Oh my gosh. And guys, those are mountains. Don't they look like clouds? I thought that was crazy. Then they announced that the plane was landing early. So so yay, however, we got caught in this huge thunderstorm with tons of lightning and it was so bumpy, you guys. Oh my gosh. And then I remembered how I said that we would crash and burn and I was like, well, shoot, I should have knocked on wood because now I'm going to die. But we made it out alive. And yes, those are my tears on the window because we are back in the state of misery. It was super bright when they turned the lights on, but I was happy to get up and stretch my legs a little bit. Not going to lie, getting out my backpack was a bit of a struggle, but I made it out alive. Oh my gosh, look who it is. Mom, didn't expect to see you here. All right, so obviously I am off the plane in the Kansas City airport. It's very, very empty. Not only because it's like 12 a.m. here, but coronavirus, so. We're waiting for my baggage now. I was reunited with my mom. 
It was very fun. It's been a good time. I don't know if this will be the end. I'll just make this the end. Semester two at USC was a great time. I'm a little sad I had to end so early, obviously, but it is what it is. I'm just thankful I got to have the experiences that I did. So welcome to Kansas City and the end of USC freshman year as we know it. Woo. Like, when we would be able to go get...